Welcome along to the men's basketball 3x3, day four of action at Smithfield, Birmingham 2022 Commonwealth Games. The hosts England will be sauntering onto court in a few moments time. They have deserved to have a swagger here in Birmingham because they played oh so well. They are up against Canada. England finished top of their pool. Canada finished second, but the previous semi-final was Scotland, Australia. Martin Henland, Australia, got their way into that gold medal game. England or Canada are away. England have been the dominant men's team in the running game this week, but in the same way that their England's wheelchair men's team was dominant, they are not unbeatable. They better have it together. Three games, three victories for England. Nobody's really troubled them. Australia waiting in the gold medal game, but first they've got to get past Canada, who they haven't met yet in the competition. Two Canada. Two and one for Canada. They started off against Kenya. That was a tough game. They've gone through tough games as well, of course, that narrow loss to Scotland. Yeah, that one really hurt them, but they bounced back against Sri Lanka. And then in the quarterfinals, they were excellent. Just have to say that they played tough basketball. The question again is you have to say they played this their second game today, but they were the first game in the afternoon session. So they've had a good four or five hours to prepare for this. And I'd love to see the game's helpers showing that they've got some dance moves. But that's because the DJ, the DJs here are kicking it. Got to admit, I even had an oggy, oggy, oggy a minute ago, which... <laughs> which is from my day the roof on Smithfields and there is a roof on Smithfields could potentially come off when Jamal Anderson comes out onto court and if England win this what a night and become the second English team into the 3x3 finals then that will be a different story. Jamal Anderson was yelling and hollering at the England women earlier on in their victory. Here, he takes centre stage. Well, England have been simply dominant. And they've seen the show put on by the running women. But they've also seen the slip up from the wheelchair men. And then they've just seen New Zealand women get turned over by Canada. They will know that they have to have the same focus and the same oneness of mind as they've had in each of their three games. This is not going to be easy by any means. Miles Hessen, the local lad, on court in his city. There he is. Anderson, Henry, Jackman and Hessen are the four. In reverse order there. Anderson looks relaxed, but they're up against a very, very tough team indeed. Well, I know that this England team has shown so far, because they've got the quality of size, the guys are all about 6'7", six, 6'8", six, they can switch everywhere. But in Alex Johnson, what Canada has is a player that's got the agility, a bit like we've just seen with Sarah Tibiasa in the women's game. He's almost unstoppable. So if he goes one-on-one -on -one and there's no help coming, he's going to make the layups. And then in Bikram Gill, he is probably the most experienced 3x3 player in the country right now. In Birmingham, in the competition, he knows what he's doing. Absolutely. And the fans were loving seeing him outside after their quarterfinal win earlier. Adam Page is the fourth and final player of a very talented team. He's added new layers to his game in the last few seasons. The hard work clearly paying off for him. And that has come to the fore here in Birmingham as well. Important thing to note with these two teams, very balanced in their court time. So all four players make equal contributions. So I'm talking about Alex Johnson for Canada, but Bikram Gill, but that doesn't undermine Adam Page or Jordan Jensen White. They are as important. Same thing for England. You already mentioned Jamal Anderson, but in the, the final pool game against Australia last night, it was Kane Henry who came up with the drops. Jamal Anderson has just dumped the ball in front of Bikram Gill's face. Not, not aggressively, just telling him what he can do. Gill, though, in their first game, took down 10 rebounds. He knows what he's doing at six foot eight around the rim, and he has such a reputation for dominance around the rim. And Canada need that handy and
jump, three. a wrong hand, no pun intended, to cheer on England as well. Well, the England women's team in the stands to cheer their, their compatriots on. Ten minutes time, we'll know who's going to go to the goal. Straight away, Canada goes to Johnson. The pace of Canada, obvious for all to see. Jensen White misses. Kane Henry, presence of mind. The ball goes the way of Canada. A nice composure there by Kane Henry. He clearly did not agree with what the referee had decided there. And he just walked, walks calmly off the floor. That's a focus England have to have. They need to be simply ruthless. The referee is not going to score any points. Listen to that Hesson. Well, you want to, you ask me earlier about statements. England will want to make a statement here. Because they want to have momentum going if they get to the gold medal game. They want Australia to know that they are for real. Jensen White offered the fake to Page. to Gill, Hesson. But that's what England has. That all four players are interchangeable. So it doesn't matter where you are on the ball, you can screen, they can switch, and they can all guard you equally. Two and a half seconds. What does Johnson do against Henry? He fakes, he puts it up, long one. Jackman takes it down. Henry looks straight for Hessen. Hessen gets himself free. Good movement from Hessen to keep manoeuvring this Canadian defence. Canada, great defence, equal to the challenge. And what we've seen in England's other games so far is they have that suffocating defence and then the other team gets a little bit despondent. Canada having none of it, it's okay, you stopped us, we're going to stop you. Jackson White, no other Anderson but to shoot the deep jump shot. Henry, deep jump shot from here, but it works. Coming across the top of the key. Look at the look on the England players' faces. Not celebrating, Henry makes a jump shot, and it looks as if he missed it. Look at that, emotionless. That's steeliness, what you need. Yeah, emotionless steeliness is that. The face I have, the look I have on my face when my kids give me their Christmas wish list. <laughs> look at the athleticism, the steel. They've got it back, and then just go upstairs. And he's someone to get dumped on. Anderson puts it away. It's 3 nothing England. What I've been impressed with in England all through this tournament is they've just stayed completely focused until they close the game out. Look, that's what they've done so far. It's just a hustle. It's less than a normal half court. And they've got such length. Defensive, they all play with their hands up. Look at Anderson draped around Adam Page like a cheap suit that he bought in the rag market just up the road here. Jensen White, Jackman, There's nowhere to go. Look at that defense. That is phenomenal. Jensen White just kind of shrugs his shoulders and says, Okay, what was I supposed to do? Look at Jackman staying down, knees bent, arms up. Jensen White, nothing to option but to give the ball back. Oh, just missing. Anderson and Jensen White has had a superb competition so far, just to put it into perspective for anyone joining the competition at this shot stage. Again. Gill steps inside, gets it wrong, shot clock again. Go. There it is, violation, Canada, that won't count, no basket. Canada are still standing on zero. And even though Bikram Gill made that shot, you only get 12 seconds to shoot, not 12.2. So has to be it doesn't hand. count. Jackman to Henry. Feed Henry. Hessen down low, unless you can get to all. Oh, Page. But well, Page did feed. Feed yeah. it off the, <laughs> off the backboard. Not the way he wanted it. They call their father. They may have caught the, they call the Jackman for the hold. Jackman's going to argue to the referee that we were holding each other. They were, in a, they were in a tight clinch like a slow dance at the disco. Referee says Jackman's guilty of the foul, though. But don't be surprised. If Canada ah, that's the Johnson move. That's the, see that? They split the players wide. Johnson with the head fake. Anderson bites. Bites on the head fake. And there, 
Canada. There may be their first point, but you're going to see that move again and again and again. The head fake, Anderson tries to contest. Stay on the floor. If Alex Johnson beats you shooting two point shots, okay, sorry. Do not let him just take you to the basket. Great response from Anderson, though. Drawing the foul straight away. I mean, Alex Johnson, one of 18 from two point shots in this tournament so far. Oh, Anderson coming back a page and saying, no way to the basket here. Jackman, get in his face, shoots two as Jensen White came through on him. Great defense from Canada, has to be said. Although, great defense from Jackman equally back the other way. This is such a high tempo, high quality semi-final. England winning this with their defense. Canada being great on defense, but England, that's just a little bit better. That's all you can say. Jensen White. So the physicality there. Anderson just swarming around Johnson. Hessen. On Jensen White, jump shot from him, won't go anywhere, nearly. You see that defense there from Miles Hessen. I have spoken to people in significant power within England basketball, and he's the weak link on defense. When I say weak link, he's the least athletic of them. Jensen White, what am I supposed to do? Let's see what they say in the timeout. We're playing really well at defense. We ain't getting shit. That doesn't mean step up. In fact, it means step up. Because you know they're going to try and go hard. Step up on defense and take our time. I'm guilty to that. Take your time. Smoke on three. One, two, three. Let's go. And there, again, apologies for the colourful language. That's what you're going to get in timeouts in basketball. But nice touch there from England. Giving credit to Canada. Saying, look, they're playing great defense. <laughs> What he was saying was, they're playing great defense. Give them credit for that, but they're not going to be able to stand. So keep it going. We're going to step up. Hessen tries Henry to get the step up on wow. the floor. Kill steps out for two on the wing. Misses, overhits everything. Into the wind. Head breaks coming. Doesn't get it. Hessen does. Foul call, silly, unnecessary foul from Bikram Gill. Had no chance to get the rebound. Hessen, great position. Look at that, his elbow. See how high his elbow is? Has to move his head out of the way of the rim. In case anybody's wondering at home, yes, that is 10 feet in the air. Hessen, out one goes. Now, Canada need to be careful because the fouls are starting to rack up for them. Four for them, one for England. What that means is Canada get to seven. Either team get to seven. The other well, team go to the line for two. Jensen White didn't like that call. Saying to the referee, I got the ball. But the thing is, he chopped down. If you chop down on the basketball, often you're going to get called for it. There's the head fake from Johnson, this time Anderson stays, and there's a steal again. Oh, and back came Jensen White. Well, Jackman actually, good job that pass didn't get through, because he stole the ball, but he didn't get beyond the arc. So the ball gets knocked out of bounds, and England keep it. Stroke of luck, 11 seconds. Well, that's the that's the breaks. Absolutely. Uh, the English Prime, British Prime Minister recently said... Them's the breaks. Them's the breaks. Yeah. <laughs> Hessen, the most effective one-on-one -on -one offensive player. I never thought we'd be quoting Boris Johnson at 3x3, but there we go. <laughs> Foul again. He loves a jamboree like the rest of us. Look at that. That attack there, Hessen. Fifth the foul. fifth foul. I say he's the most effective one-on-one -on -one player England has, and it's wily skills offensively. Alex Johnson has got pure speed. Hessen has got a change of speed. And Hessen makes a count at the line for four points for the game for him. The whistle goes. Henry grabbing him round the waist. Jensen White, nice play from him there. England anticipating the handoff to Johnson. And then we ask all big men, big players. He grabs the ball. Johnson fakes the handoff, then rips through, goes to the basket. Only the second foul committed by England, though. There you see the great defense from England. Jensen White forced it. Oh, oh too many nails along two. Nothing you can do there. If he's going to take those on and hit them. 
5.33 left in the game. 7-4 England lead in this semi-final of the 3x3 at Birmingham 22. But you'll take that. Jensen White, that's his first made two-point shot of the competition. You will live with that all day long. Jack oh. oh, So good from Jackman. Well, you feel the energy in the stadium. So when England go to the basket, that, that's a really difficult shot. High tariff shot there. Adam Page, excellent defense, but he's feeling the buzz, the energy, that extra strength converts the layup. Jensen White, trickery from him. There's the fake this time. Anderson again stays down. That is great defense, but just a little bit better on the offensive side. Oh. Anderson. Johnson ended up on the court side. It's all going on. It's 9-5 and exactly halfway. Well, Johnson tried to step in and draw the charge. Look at this defense right all over him. But Johnson with the finish. And then Hessen drives into the chest of Alex Johnson and tries to draw the charge. Two points for Johnson. 9-7. Canada coming back at England here. Hessen drives. Gill says no. Out to Page. Oh, oh the protection from Hessen. Like for like. Gil tries to squeeze it. Hessen's in there taking the rebound. Gil says, I want the ball. Canada have to go back beyond the arc. That'll be flat from Gil. There's the mismatch England one. If Johnson's on the call, we're going to take you in the post. And there's the sixth foul on Canada. And they've got there with all the second television timeout. In case you're wondering, there's England's weakest defender, Miles Hessen, <laughs> with the rejection. How good is this team when it comes to defense? Canada will. It's a foul committed by Canada. Send the ball to Anderson, check ball. England. Will receive 420 in the game, 9 7 the score. Kane Henry sits down, now he's up, and Hessen comes out. Referee telling Jensen White, check the ball up properly. Jackman against the taller lineup of Canada. That's the battle there. Jensen White showing some grit. Amazing hustle from him. But then Anderson, Jackman do the same thing. And this is the thing that England have come into this competition and said, we're going to bring you three, four pure athletes. See what you can do with us. That hustle there from Jensen White is great, but then England does it on every single play. Johnson out muscles Anderson that time. That's what he's got. That's the one thing England don't have an answer for. Travel there, Johnson getting in front of Henry, forcing the turnover. The one thing England, they don't have a way that to, an answer for Johnson if he gets going. He can't mix it up, as you say. 9-8 the score. Canada, though, the fouls weighing heavy on their mind. And Dan, we've been here in three of the, of the semi-finals. So no surprise whatsoever to see this one being tight. The England fans urging their team on. This is what we said at the beginning of the day. Henry didn't even talk to the referee. And he needs to keep it that way. Just don't have a conversation. They've got a whistle. Watching 3x3 is a mixture of delight and exhaustion. It's fantastic. But it is so, so quick. It's all going on. That was going to be call on Henry for the hold, grabbing a hold of Jensen. The referee you know, Johnson hold of her shirt to signal it was an England ball. An England, England foul. The light sorry, shirt. Sorry, the foul, excuse me. Yeah, that's what I meant. Sorry. Jensen White drops it, comes out, shoots the two, doesn't get there. Yes. Didn't go out. Didn't go outside the arc. If he puts this in. They made it here. It doesn't count. And Hessen's frustrated, but the referee did it the whole time. What you'll see is when he's dribbling out, the referee is waving her hand. She's swinging to see that right hand in the background. She's telling him, you haven't got me on the arc yet. Henry would have seen it, the angle he was on. Oh, Jen, oh Johnson's got him again. Gil from the right hand wing, overshoots again. Hessen this time gets the ball. After the foul of Johnson, it wasn't coming. Goes back to Henry. Bit of indecision from England. What can Hessen manufacture around Page? Oh, a point! 
for 10 8 to England. He is money in the bank. Shot clock time. There he goes again. Legal screen there, Victor Gill. Recognition's important here. See Jackman as he comes in for the sub. He's still talking to his teammates. It's an offensive foul, so England won't get free throws. But it does add to the foul total. So that's the seventh foul on Canada. Anderson. Just been a monster defensively. Shown his metal on the offensive end now. Jensen White in his face. Ball and Jackman collects it. Gets one up. Puts the next one down. And immediately goes up to cover. Johnson who puts up the long two. In. It's 11-10. Johnson pokes the ball free. England will keep the ball with just two seconds left on the shot clock. 2.38 left in the game. This is what Johnson has got. The veteran, 34 years of age. I've also been really impressed with Jordan Jensen White in this game for Canada. He's taken the challenge against the athletes of England. Page takes down the rebound. Jensen White, here he is, the aforementioned. England got to do work. Johnson's on the bench. And see Jensen White straight away says, no, Alex, you got to get back out here. 4.8 seconds, Anderson guarding Johnson. Don't go for the head fake. Four from six. And he gets a block. This is that one. Who comes up Shot with the ball? Hesson does. Now, Anderson, take your time. You need some movement up there to split. The other two players scream for each other. Hesson, open, two ball. Doesn't get it. It doesn't go. Jackman looked around wanting the foul. It didn't come either. It's still 11 10. Time out time call. Call by Canada. You just saw that time, Miles Hesson saying to Jamel Anderson, back yourself, take it up. You can score over him. You know, it's good. He's running the offense, but let's hear him in the timeout again. Yeah, don't worry about anything else. Let's go. Defense, let's take care of the twos. And if they get ones, you see, we're fighting him up to the group, yeah? That's what we got to do. Yeah. yeah. We don't help. Oh. We're not free. Three. Three. Wait, trust each other on this. Thing is now, if you're England, game management. They've only committed three fouls. They've got three fouls they can commit with no penalty. You do not let Canada have easy shots. Don't foul them in the act of shooting, but don't be afraid to use your fouls now. Johnson has the ball. Henry getting as close to him as he can. What a steal down from Hesson. I like that switch. They put Henry on Johnson for his length. And then it goes. It doesn't fall for him on the two. There, Henry. That's a, that's a choice they've made. Because he's got the length. He can step a little bit further back. Shot clock's going to run out on Jensen. Why? Touch there. Jackman with a really important touch there. Under two minutes left. Puts it up. Gills up. And it called the foul. And Jensen White doesn't like it. So it's two free throws for England. Late call. Like well, Jackman gets in there. Yeah, well, actually, he fouled him. What's Bikram Gill? He goes, chops down with his left hand, gets him on the shoulder. And indeed, all on Jackman. This is the beautiful thing about basketball. It actually comes down to it's not subjective. A foul is a foul. And the referee blows his whistle. If you run the tape back a thousand times, that's a foul. Jackman, though, he's got him. This is. The lack of experience for England. They've got, you know, they haven't. This is a new team. They put it together for the Commonwealth Games. They work long and hard. What they've got to do is to be able to close games out. Now, this is the time you have to punch the opposition. Jackman puts a stretch to to 12-10 in favour of England. Here. Anderson committed the foul. It's okay to commit that foul, but Page wasn't even beyond the arc. Again, this is a learning experience. Trying to emulate what the ladies did a little bit earlier on today. Of course, making the men's first ever Commonwealth Games final. Oh, wow. Superman in to make it to and Alex Johnson. That's the give and go. Shot clock dribbling away. Jackman put it up. He had to. He had to get something away. Page. You know Johnson's going to be the solution. Don't be afraid to double team him. Gil, can he get to the oh, wow. Now for England.
England is composure. This Canada team has got veteran experience. Inside the last minute, Chapman. Oh, oh beautiful move. as well for 13 12. The head fake gets Gill off balance. Look at the grimace on the face of Alex Johnson in there. Calculated foul. We are not going to get beat by Alex Johnson taking us one on three. But look at that give and go. Now look at the look on the face of Jamal Jackson. Jamal has just stood down in the face of Johnson and literally licked his lips as if to say, This is my game. Try taking it from me. Almost a smirk, Martin. On his right, what he's saying is, This is what they picked me for. I've been put on this team for one reason and one reason only. That's a touch from and Kane Henry. And I'm going to tell you something. Jackson, Mike. You're not going to throw a long pass over Kane Henry. Did you see when he got that dunk earlier on? Trying to throw it over his head. Chantal Handy. Having a say off court as well as on the toes. Great to see. Look at that. Johnson. Look at that. Two. Anderson. Does he get it? No, he doesn't. It's 13 12 to England. Hessen yeah. runs the clock. It won't show up in the stat sheet, but Jamal Anderson, for me, that defense, oh my god, Some misses. what a block. Well, now Henry comes back in and stops Johnson getting the ball, it will be Canada ball, but Anderson Horton locks up Johnson, all that Jackman calls timeout. So England will get the ball back, 10 on the shot clock, let's hear what they got to say. We have one foul to give, one foul to give, and then drive, and then shot. Only on the table, defense shot. Hey, we can give him a foul. When we get a ball, is he going to outside the three-point line? Hold it. Number two, is trying to get over. What we like about that, first six, we got one foul to give, but the qualifying of that was only use it on a drive. Don't use it on a jump shooter, for goodness sake. Anderson, he's just done it once. Can he do it again? This is going to be between Johnson and Gill. That's the two-man game. 18.7 seconds left in the game. England have the one-point lead. Gold medal game. It's a stake. A semi-final to be decided. One of these teams will go forward to play for the top prize at Birmingham 2022. Semi-final time. It's been such a day of action. Johnson can Rebound. Who's it going to? Referee gives it back. Wait now. Oh, they're going to check it. Right now, here's the thing. The shot was missed. Nobody took possession. What was the shot clock when Johnson missed that shot? It does not reset because England didn't get permit, didn't get possession. So the referee's going to check whose possession it is, and then they've got to figure out what to do with the shot clock. If they give it to Canada, they're going to have to get it back with like one or two seconds. They give it to England. They have the full 9.6. This is 3x3, drive me crazy! Martin's gone for a sit down in a quiet and darkened room. I need I, somebody, <laughs> Where's the DJ? Need some music. Yeah, he's suddenly gone quiet for the first time. And I think the DJ's invested in this game as well. And you know what? This is the first time this game is a hush. And the referee's going to make the decision. I think it's going to be England basketball. No, he's giving it back to Canada. But what? But no, the shot clock's off. He's going to give him the full 9.6. And he's reset the shot clock as well. Wow. That's a big call. What's the play, Martin? Canada just needs a one. They want a point. They're going to try and get Johnson with the ball. Nearly the stumble from Gill. This from Russia. Desperation here. Benson one. So they go. They've never made it to a Commonwealth Games final. Scrap history. This is the first time 3x3 has been here. And England men have made it to the first ever 3x3 final in the running game, just like England women did minutes ago earlier. And they did it the hard way. They did it with defense. Their offense was not where it wanted to be. Canada played out of their skin. Absolutely more than the performance of Canada. And England will go to the gold medal game undefeated.
The only team in the running game that's going to be undefeated in that final. Playing for gold. And that was what we would call the banana skin. The score in the men's basketball 3x3 semi final England 13, Canada 12. But you know what, then I looked at the score and I had to make sure it was 13 12. Because yeah. the way we had this madness, I'm sure it wasn't 13 14. There's the shot. One rebound wins it all. To say to anyone, as you see, the England women's team celebrating at home. Is the amount going on in the arena is like nothing you can witness. It's just going off all the time. So much information, so much quality, so much action. And the show is over. And normally the fans clear the stadium. Look at this, they're on their feet. Two thousand. Birmingham Commonwealth Games fans supporting England. Men and women running games, going for the gold medal. It is unbelievable. And in the wheelchair game, England will go for bronze in both men's and women's as well. After Australia cruelly denied England on the overtime victory. But that from England was stunning. Jackman asked the crowd for more once more. He's got four points for the game. Five rebounds. And in the men's basketball 3x3, let's have a look at the second semi-final stats. 13-12. England hits 63% inside. Well, the difference between the teams statistically is England made defended against the two-point shooting of Canada. 